has gone. <clears throat> I hope everyone is doing well. You get good news and you get bad news. And it's all bad news. When people have blood on their hands and nothing gets done about it and the news reporters, you know, the good old news reporters say it's unfortunate of the deaths that went into the stormwater drains, but one was lucky to survive. It was dragged one kilometre in flood water rushing through the stormwater drains. Well, he was drunk. He's lost his licence three times, and that would have been the fourth time he got caught, and it would have been done for a double murder. So he's uh, killed Banish and he killed Holly, two beautiful friends of mine, you know, and... Uh, Nothing was done about it, nothing at all. It's just uh, a waste of time. And uh, he said a pack of lies. He, uh, he told me the truth when I was with uh, Tim Leha, had him loudspeaker. I said that I was gonna go around to his house with a 45 and blow his brains out and uh, he didn't have a phone but I had his house phone number and I kept ringing it and his mother said oh he can't get out of bed and um, how can someone go through stormwater drains for one kilometre not get a scratch on them not one scratch and end up going through a miracle bar and out to freedom and swam out to a surfer and jumped on his board because he was blind drunk and he said, oh, my friends are in there, my friends are in there. Well, that gave it away straight up. Instantaneously gave it away. My friends are in there. In where? At the end, the top, the bottom? Like, it's gone on long enough. You know, the 20th of the 1st, 2008, it happened. You know, like, it's just ridiculous. It's just, uh, it's just straight up murder. And uh, everyone loved going to five, six, seven. You know, they loved it. I don't know how many times I wrote that comment on Facebook and I'll get a bit of support, but not much. And I wrote it uh, quite a lot. For every photo that I put on Banish, uh, my Facebook. The comment below this, Yo, i Smith. How you going, brother? My comment um, below the video, explains everything in full detail exactly what happened yeah that's cool no worries it's all good brother where's my phone there it is jeez thanks bro i've been trying to get on the k solo show but um I don't know what's wrong. I go to StreamYard and it says that it's uh, ended at one thirty four seconds. I can't get on. I screenshotted it to him. Tried to send him money and it wouldn't accept it. Yeah, I called him. I called him, brother. 
I called him and, and um, I don't know what happened. Who knows? Yeah, ask him, bro. I, I think... I think when I was talking to him on StreamYard backstage, he cancelled me out and that cancel or something maybe something like that and it's frozen my account. He hasn't blocked me, he's got no block on me, but I think something like that. So something weird. You know? But uh yeah, playing from five, six, seven. Yes, yeah, I understand. You can use the phone. You can use the phone to. The last few times I used the phone to uh, record, but um, I wasn't crash hot, but. Uh, yeah, no. But uh, the weather conditions to go down to the stormwater drain that day, it was raining very heavily. It was El Nino, the Antichrist, El Nino, and I'm now. And yeah, it's just. Uh, you decided to take him down there drunk and he told me that they walked all the way through the end on his house phone when his mother got on the phone and I said, look, you better put him on the phone, I'm coming around. And I mean business. I'm not going to fuck around. And... He said that uh, they walked through all the way through the stormwater drains. They got down to the entrance of the ocean. And then from there, they started painting and they tagged all the way along. So, you know, someone only has to open the hatchet or whatever wherever it is, just open it up and have a look and see if there's any tags there. And that'll prove that it didn't happen at the start. No one can go through one kilometre of stormwater drains, walk out the hospital the exact same day, the exact same day, We've had one scratch on him, not one, and two other people died. Two of my best friends, banished and holy, riders, graffiti riders from Sydney. Nah. Now I must have knocked him out about four or five times. I'm, I got light banned from his shop. Yeah. Yeah, that was good fun. And uh, going to Death Jams and finding out where he was and uh, leave my house straight away and catch up to him and just knock him out and uh, carry him off the street, go in the ambulance. It was longer in hospital when I knocked him out than he went through one kilometre of stormwater drains. How did he work that out? I can't work it out. I don't know how he got away with it, but um, he left his car there because he lost his mobile, his shop keys, for his shop and his home keys and his car keys. He lost everything. And he told me 
Well, I've got a tow truck driver to get rid of the car because it would have been evidence. And then I got uh, what else? You got that done? Oh, that's right. He um he opened the shop the next day. Do you believe that? Like two friends. Oh, she's so called good friends. Good friends. Two friends. And the, he opens the shop the next day. Gets a locksmith to open up his shop. And uh, yeah, it just carries on and just thinks like nothing happened. Went to the funeral and uh, he wouldn't say hello or uh, gu goodbye to Banish. And everyone knew that it was him. Everyone knew the story. You know, it's just, uh, it's a pity. But the shop's closed now, which is good. Everyone buys things online. Shops for, all shops are going to disappear. Everything's online now. They're del delivered to you all. But uh, everyone's got to know you can't be trusted. He was at Redfern. And Chaos was doing tags on the train with me. And he ran up a couple carriages. And I thought, why is he doing that for? And I looked out the train and I seen transits just as the train was pulling into the platform. So I told Chaos and um, we walked up one carriage and walked off and they grabbed Chaos and Mick legged it. So I had to punch on with three transits and uh, make sure that Chaos never got busted but um that just proved you how much of a dog he is he just you know oh i'll decide to run off not help anyone and leave you know like he's been, he went down to that storm water drain many times he knew that the bar was missing. The bar. There's one bar. There's one bar missing here. Yeah? One bar. And he went through one kilometre stormwater drains and so happily just snuck out of one bar. I don't think so. Yeah, be safe, man. All good. Cheers, brother. Solo to K solo for me. But, um, yeah, unbelievable. Very sad. Most cowardly act I've ever seen, I've ever heard of. So cowardly. Yeah. Yeah, he said he caught a taxi there. That's what he said to the police and stuff. But he went through the stormwater drain, the pipe, what was missing. 
slipped through when Banish was trying to help Holly. That's what he was saying to me. He just left him there because he was drunk and just cruised off. Just cruised off and they'll be all right. I'll go and seek help. Just uh, another dog out. She's done plenty of them. And the description of everything that happened, everything that went on, is down below. The whole lot for the video. I don't know what's going to happen when I see him again. I really don't know. No one will tell me where he lives. I could say that I've done something like jumped on a train at Deniston where there's no cameras and hid in the bushes, all in black clothes with a 45 hollow point and jumped off at, uh, oh, what was it now? Pendant Hill Station and then walked up the tracks and then jumped over the fence exactly where he's street where he lives exactly and then waited in the garage all night for him to blow him away the kingdom come but uh no nah, that was just a dream i'm only dreaming that I wouldn't do something like that. Not me. Nah, no way in this world. No, I wouldn't. But, uh, you'll know about it. He'll definitely know about it. I suppose why he didn't come home because he was drinking all night. Again, drink driving. Hmm. All I seen was a black cat. That was the only thing that I seen was a black cat. Hollow point 45. Stephen, Stephen Seagal gun, but not hollow points. And then I left before it was daylight and Went the same way home and then I woke up in my bedroom and thought, gee, would I do something like that? No, I wouldn't do something like that. Not me. You know, I'm not a killer. I haven't killed anyone. I've killed a few fish. You know, you got to eat. You definitely got to eat. But yeah. When Judgment Day comes for, uh, for Mick Plan, P-L-A-N, that's his tag. 
Uh, I think you'll be burning in hell. Burning in hell. Anyway, the description down the bottom in the video fill in the read. I could quote more of the paper, but uh, incredibly, the third man squeezed through a bending gate and uh, bending bar and was swept away. Yeah, like, yeah, right. Yeah. I keep a lot of papers of uh, friends who have passed away. What did Frank Sinatra say? That they're all prostitutes or all the females are all prostitutes? They're all prostitutes. Anyway, Tim Zoo lost his fight. Is mean Costa Costa Zoo unified all the belts of the WBC and uh, Hall of Famer Boxing Hall of Famer. What a great fighter! It's a shame that doesn't stay in Australia and he stays in Russia. He's got a fallout with his son. But imagine having a fallout of your friends, your so called brothers, and you kill them. I don't think. Uh, Costa and his father are going to kill each other. I don't think that's going to happen. Maybe an argument, disagreement, and in the end it will be all good. But, uh, yeah, things you learn. Things you learn. It's getting late. It's like four in the morning. Four in the morning. I'm just watching the FBI files and I thought, you know, I told everyone on Facebook and uh, even when he closed his shop. I wrote comments underneath and uh, let everyone know. But, uh, you can only do so much. Everyone was loving him when he owned the shop. Everyone would stick up for him. Thought it was the greatest. But in fact, it was my idea. It wasn't Mick's. Mick didn't know anything about graffiti. He was a toy. He couldn't even do a piece. He couldn't do anything. And I seen him at Denison taking photos when I was with uh, Radical Son. And he said something like, oh, he looked 
Morning Song of the Day or something. I said, I don't know. I'll go suss him out, bro. I'll go check him out. So I went and I checked him out. He said, oh, no, I'm not trans. I take batteries of graffiti, you know. And, yeah. And I said, what do you write? And he told me what he writes. And I told him what to write. He said, you write that? He said, you take me out painting? Well, I've taken everyone out painting. I've taken more people out painting than anyone in Sydney. I've, I've painted longer than anyone in Sydney. I don't think there's anyone's painted longer than me. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. There's some older people around still, but haven't painted for a very long time and done a lot of murals so that doesn't count for graffiti so and um, my friend Brett she's a incredible graffiti writer he's got mad style He's been over 20, what, plus, two, three years in jail now. And he paints like you wouldn't believe. He's incredible. He's absolutely amazing. He doesn't know his own talent, which is a shame. Maybe him listen to this will maybe improve himself for him. Let him know. Anyway. Peace and blessings. Take care. I'm watching some football soon. It's going to be coming on. I love my football. Oh, it's a blue jersey. Is it? What's the bad say? Manchester United. Yeah. Alright, peace. Peace and blessings.